Welcome and thank you for being here on this beautiful and important day, the 23rd of July, 2022, to witness and celebrate the very special love between this amazing couple by joining them in sacred marriage here in this beautiful setting in Uluwatu, Bali. I'm gonna ask you two to please turn and face one another. And guys, would you please remove the veil? I just have one rule, no kissing until I say so. You have each written words of love and affirmation one for each other. I'm gonna ask, guys, would you please go first? So, um... <laughs> A lot of people don't know the story of how Titan and I met. Oh, hold on, guys. I became friends with Titan's friend in university, and I tried my best to get invited to that guy's birthday party because I knew Titan would be at that party. So some may say I'm a sociopath, <laughs> but I'm really just doing market research. When we finally met at that birthday party for the first time, I never looked back. I remember seeing you as I was coming up the stairs. It was basically like tunnel vision. You know, everyone was singing like, happy birthday to you, to like my friend, but I was only focused on seeing my future wife for the first time. I've never imagined myself standing right here, honestly, let alone with the love of my life. I've never been a confident person, never been one to express myself openly, never been one to take control of my life. But meeting you changed that. It helped me grow in more ways than I could ever imagine. It's very rare to meet someone like you with your diligence, self-discipline, tenacity, and feistiness. It's also very rare to meet someone with such good smelling armpits. <laughs> well, they just never seem to stink. <laughs> She's always offering it to me like this, you know. <laughs> and you always seem so proud of them as well. <laughs> I've always felt you're a really smart person, a really elegant person, and also a very independent person, which is one of the things that attracted me to you. This is a girl who wanted to be a psychologist, but obviously your career took a turn. I met you when you had only 6,000 Instagram followers. <laughs> so I guess you have me to thank for all your success. <laughs> you're my first ever girlfriend, and I'll always appreciate how you gave the shy Gaius back then time to show his true colors. You always say you're not a patient person, but it seems like the most patient thing you've done your whole life was when you were getting to know me. You taught me many valuable skills in life, one of them being how to be a full Instagram boyfriend. But one of the most valuable lessons you taught me though was how to be a loving person and how to be a man. With you, I became wiser became more mature. Without you, I would have been lost. I would have been even more lost without your friends and families. To Titan's parents, thank you for embracing me, pretty much taking me into your family the moment you guys met me. When I decided to leave Singapore and move to Indonesia, you guys were always so welcoming to me and always taking care of me, making sure I would live comfortably. I lived in their house and there was never a time when they stopped caring about me. So I am proud to say that you are my parents as well. Love you guys. To Titan's brothers, Russell, Gary, and their wife, Pao and Yola, thank you for always making me feel like part of the family. I look forward to spending more time with you guys and creating more memories with you guys. To Titan's bridesmaid, uh, thank you for being her supporting pillar, especially Alicia, where's Alicia? Alicia's right there. Um, Alicia's Titan's best friend, by the way. And you know, you have no idea how much Titan loves you. She's always so proud of everything you do and always wishes the best in everything. You bring her so much happiness, and I know for a fact that her life would have been different without you. To my mom and my dad, <laughs> there will be no words to express my love for you guys. I cannot possibly repay back the sacrifices you guys made for me ever since I was born into this world. Thank you for always trusting me and giving me the freedom to be me. I love you guys so much. To my one and only brother, Gideon, I always remember the times you took care of me. 
you would carry me on your back after school and bring me all the way back home because I was too sleepy to move. We would even wrestle on bed like we were in WWE. And obviously, I would lose every single time. Thank you for being my loving brother and being someone I can always seek advice from. Love you so much. And lastly, to my groomsmen, Daniel, Chris, Ben, <laughs> Jackie, Suman, and also um, Sham and uh, Ray, who could not be here. Um, I love you guys so much. It's really tough for me to find friends, actually. So thank you so much for accepting who I am. <laughs> love you so much. <laughs> Eight years ago, I asked Titan to be my girlfriend. And she said no. <laughs> She told me to ask her again later, and FYI, I haven't asked her officially to be my girlfriend yet. <laughs> so I guess in Facebook terms, it's, it's still complicated. <laughs> now, eight years later, I'm not asking you to be my girlfriend, but instead asking you to be my forever soulmate. We've always talked about this moment, us getting married, and now it's finally here. But what lies after this moment, we don't know. The only thing I do know though, is no matter what hardship we face, we will always be by each other's side. And I know this for a fact because you've always been committed to our relationship. The quality of love that you have blessed me with has made me realize that there could be no greater achievement in life than to be the best husband I can be to you. I look forward to waking up next to you every day for the rest of my life and seeing your cute little smile. You will forever be my first and last. Love you so much, my little nugget. <laughs> that speech was hard to top. <laughs> Dear Gaius, when you said you loved me, I felt like that was it, the beginning of my life. You loved fiercely in a way that I never knew a woman could be loved. You nursed a broken girl from the ashes to be the brave woman that I am today. I would not be here without you. And yes, I do attribute a lot of my success to your undying support and love. <laughs> Nobody ever made me feel so accepted like you did. I can share everything with you, from the trivial daily thoughts to the deep-rooted traumas. You never once belittled my experiences. You just made it your personal goal to heal me, to make me truly happy. And for years now, I have become this ridiculously happy woman that I don't even recognize sometimes. Our relationship has not only made me grateful to have you, but also grateful for life itself. Your happy-go-lucky attitude, your appreciation for all the little things in life, your empathy and kindness towards every living thing around you. You are nice, but you can still be the sassiest and funniest person in the room. I could go on and on about the things that I love about you. You've made me view life in a whole different light like a life worth enjoying and living. You make me feel excited for the future. Life seems like an adventure to be had with you, and we're gonna have so much fun, babe. I knew you were the one when you would look at me with kind eyes, even when the whole world seemed to be against me. I knew you were the one when you would laugh at all my silly jokes, even when others didn't. You're supportive that way, always thinking about how I'm feeling, looking at me from the corner of your eye across a room full of people. When my mood would change ever so slightly, even when it was barely noticeable, you would ask me if I was okay. <laughs> and you would do everything in your power to make me feel okay. I feel like I can conquer the world with you by my side because you're my biggest cheerleader and I know you'll always be there to catch me if I fall. Only you and I know the trials and tribulations we had to go through to get to this very moment. From you secretly stalking my social media for three months, <laughs> you working out two times a day every day just so you could get abs to impress me, <laughs> which you lost in one month after dating us, <laughs> dating me. I already got the girl, so you know, don't have to maintain it. <laughs> us studying together in uni every day, Okay, not everyday lullaby. <laughs> Having nothing to do in Buffalo, so all we did was stare at the ducks. <laughs> Us starting our businesses together in Indonesia, just so you could move here with me. Me going to church so we could share the same faith. Crying every week I had to send you off for LDR. And our cuddles with napkin, rochi, and dumpling. 
all the hot pot we ate together, yeah, I had to fit hot pot yeah. in our wedding vows. <laughs> Even after all of those challenges we faced, I wouldn't have done it with anyone else. The problems were never between the two of us. It was always us against the world, and we triumphed above all our obstacles. I have never been more sure in my life. The decision to marry you was the easiest and most joyous decision I've ever had to make. Everything I do and everywhere I go, I want to share with you. Nothing makes me happier than to be your wife. I promise to cherish you, to never judge you, except for when you squeeze the toothpaste from the middle of the tube. That one I will judge you for. <laughs> Why do you do that? It makes no sense. <laughs> I also promise to laugh with you, cry with you, support you, and stay in love for eternity. We're going to be that couple in our 80s, still holding hands with heads full of gray hair. I am marrying one cute, lovable, handsome man today, and I am proud to say you are my dream man in every way possible. I love you guys. Ang Wei Jie. And now I invite you to please exchange these traditional vows with each other by repeating after me. You may hold hands. Thank you so much for cooperating with the no kissing clause. You guys are really resisting. That's great. Gaius, would you please repeat these vows to Titan? I, Gaius. I, Gaius. Take you, Titan. Take you, Titan. To be my married wife. To be my married wife. To have and to hold. To have, sorry. <laughs> to have and to hold. To have and hold from this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To honor and to cherish. To honor and cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I promise you these. I promise you these. Thank you. Thank you. Titan, would you please take the microphone and please repeat these vows to Gaius. I, Titan. I, Titan. Take you, Gaius. Take you, Gaius. To be my married husband. To be my married husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To honor and to cherish. To honor and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I promise you these. I promise you these. Thank you. Gaius and Titan, based on the authority granted me as a minister in the Republic of Indonesia, and in view of all these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Let's give a bigger round of applause. One more time. Gaius, you may kiss your bride. Give her one more. Come on, one more kiss.